Yeah, I said I'll turn on the table. Alright. So, normally when I have to talk, I don't make notes, but I did this time. Uh, and I'm going to apologize because I will probably uh, have to stop to choke it back a little bit. But I want to tell you guys that I am so, so very proud of you guys this week. This is the first podium finish for this program. And it has been a hard road to get here. And you all have worked so very hard this year to do this. And now that we've got one, the next will be easier. For those of you that like indoor, you fight, 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 and shoot that first 300. Once you get it, they come easier every time. For those of you shooting out there, you work so hard to get that seven hundred. Once you get it, it comes easier every time after that. We've got the podium now. So it's going to be easier to make it happen again and start that climb onto the top. We will get there. Sooner or later, we are going to make that climb to the top. We've had some obstacles. But as we continue to grow, we'll address those obstacles and we'll continue to improve. Tonight, though, with all of that out of the way, we want to celebrate the ones that are leaving. The ones that won't be back are the first group that came in as freshmen when I was here. With the exception of Nathan, wherever he's at, who came in just a little over a year ago. And Gracie. And Gracie. And Gracie. That's right, Gracie, I'm sorry. She's been with us so long, we just don't even yeah, know anymore. I still think of Gracie as being one of the OGs for me up here. But Nathan joined us a year, just a little over a year ago, because your first tournament was Target, right? So, but he immediately became a part of the family and an important part of the family. And his work and his contributions have not gone un unnoticed, and they are very, very much appreciated. You guys have made my lifelong journey in archery the most fun over the last four years that it's ever been. And at times it's been the most frustrating. But I can promise you that through the good times, the hard times, the frustrations, that my love for you guys has never wavered. Not for a second. My wish for each and every one of you is happiness and success in everything that you do. I truly hope that you've learned some things while you've been a part of this team that will help you to achieve the things that you hope for as you move forward in life. Always remember, focus, execute, and trust the process. It applies to everything that you will ever care about. And also remember that your coaching staff loves you and is always here for you. Good luck, guys. You'll be truly and deeply missed. Seniors, Seniors. up. Uh-uh. Black jerseys. Black shirts. Come on.
Step up and go. I guess I'm the loudest. Wait, wait. That makes sense and I go Step first. up and speak loudly, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not loud enough for that. <laughs> My bad. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people kind of already know this, but uh, I was not planning on coming to Lindsay Wilson. That was not even on like my list of colleges to go to. Uh, and some way or another, I ended up here. And then in, it ended up, and again, where I was almost about to drop out my freshman year uh, because I had a lack of confidence in myself and I just felt like I was kind of a disappointment to this team and I wasn't really providing much to this team. Uh, but I, I had a lot of support from my teammates and my coaches working with me and helping me get better and do better and not necessarily shoot better, but be helpful in other ways. You know, being a supportive team member, being the best shooter, agent, freak, like spotter I can be with getting air at Layla's arrows wrong regardless. <laughs> other ways when I can't necessarily pick up the bow and shoot as well as I should be and I, I honestly couldn't I wouldn't have been I wouldn't still be at the college if it wasn't for the support I got from my teammates and my coaches and I don't know where I would be if I, that wasn't the case you know I've grown um, I've gained so much <laughs> I met my husband on this team I met my friends that got to see me at my wedding <laughs> I got to, my friends got to watch me graduate, <laughs> and I've gotten to change so much and grow with this entire family. And I just ask that you guys support your family and keep going, and keep it up, and keep in contact with me, so that we can all continue to be one big happy family. And I just really ask that you support each other in other ways, except for shooting good. Because you got to be honest, sometimes it's not always about being the best. Sometimes you'll win gold like Brittany, and sometimes you'll be sitting on the sidelines like me, being the best agent that you can. <laughs> or dressing up in tutus for Layla's sake. <laughs> so take care of each other, take care of yourselves, keep in touch. And I love you guys. We love you, Mom. And, and I was hoping I would be last because I forgot to grab it. Uh oh. <laughs> but you know I gotta make sure that Mark oh. is taken care of. So I had to get him enough Reese cups to take care of him while I'm gone. So, so someone's gonna have to let me know when this bag runs out. <laughs>
little child Jessica is screaming her heart out for me right now. Um, but when I came in freshman year, I felt like I hardly had anybody. Um, Anna knows. <laughs> it was me, Anna, and another girl that was on the team. We hung out 24-7. And that is the only people that I would reach out to. But as I have grown and, you know, made it through college, I have come to consider every single one of you my family. Um, I love each and every one of you. Um, <laughs> One of my favorite memories is kidnapping Maddie in our parking lot because she wanted to walk home at 11 o'clock at night. Um, but I was an accomplice to that now. But uh, just planning all our game nights and all the times hanging down at the range, it means a lot and that is something that I will hold in my heart forever. Um, I don't have much else to say, but Mark. Thank you for taking a second chance on me when you just have to take one. Now, I ain't gonna be 
keep living down here. No right. you. But like I told you guys earlier, if Mark could get me a master's degree, I'd shoot. Except I'm going to be studying back home so I can still work, make some money. <laughs> But I'll come down here for tournaments. So, you guys can still borrow my shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it back. But I won't be like living with y'all. He'll just be coming in to party with us during tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. for a speech. back in the fall we will have two graduate assistants instead of an assistant coach and a graduate assistant Evan will be back one more year your second graduate assistant will be Anna Senior walk. Put the seniors up and let them hug them out. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, I think they'll have to line up up yonder. Yeah, let's let's get our seniors lined up right there in front of the doorway. And as part. we 
walk out, y'all hug them, show them your appreciation and love.